I'm Amma Anwar. I'm the author of two crime thrillers that are set in West London. And I'm also part of City of Stories Home, which celebrates libraries as the place to make and share stories. I'd like to share a story with you on the theme of home. It's titled Return. 2017. There was no one to meet Zach, so he took the bus. The sun dazzled him, its staccato glare reflecting from the puddles lining the road as the vehicle sped along. He'd been lucky with the weather. It had poured the last few days, but this morning the sun had broken through the oppressive grey clouds, brightening everything, transforming the world from monochrome to technicolour, offering a sense of hope, maybe even new beginnings. He got off the bus in Vista and walked to the station north of the town centre. There he handed in the form he had been given in exchange for a rail ticket, then waited on the platform for his train to London. It was weird to be here on his own. It should have been the most normal thing in the world, taking a train, something he'd done many times before, and yet it felt strange and new. He had over an hour to wait, the later train being cheaper. Thoughts crowded his head, too numerous and fleeting for him to grasp any single one and consider it fully. He had been away for a long time and had mixed feelings about returning. Things had changed. Not so much the places or people he would see again, though many of them would inevitably be different, but rather things had changed with him and maybe nothing would ever be the same as it was before. He wished he had some music to lose himself in. His train arrived and he got on. It was afternoon now, off peak, and there were plenty of free seats. He sat by the window and watched the countryside whiz past, his own thoughts superimposed on the blur of green fields and blue sky. It wasn't a long journey, about an hour, with just two stops on the way. The landscape gradually became more built up, rural to suburban to urban. The train terminated at Marlebone. He joined the throng of people leaving the train, savouring the experience. Through the barriers, he went to the ticket counter and handed over another form, this time receiving an off-peak travel card for it. He went down to the tube and hopped onto the Bakerloo line, two stops to Paddington. The main concourse here was familiar territory, a place he knew well, once part of his daily commute. He scanned the departures boards for the next Reading service and went to the stated platform. A multitude of butterflies fluttered within him. The train out through West London was where he really noticed the changes, the remembered mixed with the new. One stop at Elam Broadway, and then it was his. He stepped off the train and was greeted by a sign in both English and Punjabi, Southall. He felt his heart swell and a tear or two threaten. Idiot, he chided himself. Up the stairs, out of the station, and he was back where he belonged. After five years in prison, he was finally home. Uh, all Londoners are being invited to get creative, participate in free online workshops and write their own short story on the theme of home. A top tip that I'd like to give for writing a short story or any piece of writing is to finish your story. Finish writing it, just get the whole thing down. Don't worry so much about any word count to begin with. You can aim for it, but don't worry too much about it. It's not a big problem if you go over to begin with. Getting the whole story written down is the main thing. Then you'll have a complete piece of work and something that you can work with and edit and improve and make better. If you don't finish, you'll never have a complete story and you won't ever know that you can do it and write a story. So just keep going and get it done.
To get involved in City of Stories Home, read more stories and top tips, go to spreadtheword.org.uk forward slash City of Stories Home.